Now, you have a sawed lawn, but whether it's sawed or a seeded lawn, the most important thing, the critical thing, is the soil that's underneath it is prepped right. Now, we have a fungus problem here, and usually fungus shows up where it's wet. I think this area is really poor drainage or poor soil underneath it contributing to the problem. So I'm going to take and dig out a section and take a look and see what we have. Not going in very easy. Okay. Yeah, I would say, huh? Take a look at this, Sonia. We've got a level where they put in a little bit of soil. See that right there? That's all stone dust. Ah. Oh. Okay, yeah. that stops the water from draining down any farther into the soil. So it's got this little bit of root system. The water comes in, floods it, leads to a fungus disease. What we're going to do is excavate out the poor soil and put in some good soil. What we want to do is dig out the dead area like that about six inches deep. So we're just going to dig it out and throw it in the wheelbarrow. My suspicion is that when they were building the walkway, they dumped a load of stone dust here. Now stone dust is great for underneath the walkway. It really makes a nice firm base. But when they were done, they left the pile here. They didn't clean it up and take it away. They just put a little bit of soil on top and laid the sod on top of that. That's what's causing our drainage problem. Oh, hold on a sec. We have found irrigation lines. Now, I want you to be very careful digging around them because it's very easy to put a shovel right through them. Now, this is what I put under every lawn I install. This is a mix of topsoil, compost, and sand. So while it drains freely, the compost holds moisture for the roots and the lawn grows like crazy because the roots love it. Okay, Sonia, now what I want to do is take this rake and just firm this up. I don't want to pack it real hard because I still want the water, roots, and air to be able to get through this. But when we're done and we're all the way filled up and we put the sod on top, I don't want it to settle down when we water it and have a big depression in your lawn. So we're going to put a little in, firm it up. Now you can put some more over there for me. All right, Sonia, what I want you to do is level out the soil, tamp it, and when you're done, I want you to be one inch below grade. Okay, now it's time for the grass. We could just seed that spot, but it would take two or three weeks just for it to germinate and 14 to 16 months before it blended in with your sod lawn. So what I did is I went down to the local garden center and picked up some rolls of bluegrass sod. Now this is going to match in pretty much perfectly with the bluegrass sod you already have here. So all I'm going to do is take and tuck it in nice and tight and make sure it fits in because I don't want any gaps. I want it to look like it's been here and I'd, it'll dry out on the edges if I leave spaces. So we'll just take and put it in the existing opening, bring it down to the edge and cut it to fit. Okay, so now we're gonna take this piece, gonna lay it in here. Now pull it right in tight and literally just match it right in. Okay, perfect. See that? You can't even see the seam. Now come down the other end. Take and, now take and do this seam right in tight. And take and pat it down nice. Well, Sonia, the secret to a good saw job is getting all these seams tucked in so they don't show at all. So what do you think? This looks wonderful, Roger. You can't even tell it's a patch. No, it's like it's always been here. But what I need you to do is water this twice a day for the next two weeks. Well, I thought the problem was too much water. Well, it was before when the soil wouldn't drain. With all the work we did underneath, the water's going to drain through and the roots are going to chase right down into all that good topsoil. Mm -hmm.